16 days of the month of January 2019 on top of the things for joining us tonight a very good Wednesday evening to you my name is Dereva Hillary the broadcast begins right now now President Uhuru Kenyatta on Wednesday morning declared the tourist attack at the 14 Riverside Drive over with all the tourists having been eliminated he, however, did not specify the number of the attackers that had stormed the building complex, which houses the upmarket Ducy D2 hotel, among others. During the attack, with President Kenyatta vowing that the country will not give in to terror, warning that the government will continue to take every step necessary to make the nation unhospitable to terrorist groups. Kenya was yesterday struck by a gang of criminals who hoped to terrorize our people by committing acts of murder and mayhem. I can now confirm that as of about one hour ago, the security operation at Ducid Complex is over and all the terrorists eliminated. As of this moment, we have confirmation that 14 innocent lives were lost through the hands of these murderous terrorists, with others injured. We are grieving as a country this morning, and my heart and that of every Kenyan goes out to the innocent men and women violated by senseless violence. We wish the injured quick recovery, and as a nation, we will continue to pray for them. We are a country governed by laws, rules, and regulations, a country that embraces peaceful coexistence we believe in these principles and values even in the face of adversity. But I must also state that we are also a nation that never forgets those who hurt our children. Even as we regret yesterday's incident, as Commander-in-Chief, I want to commend the quick and effective response by all our fighting teams for neutralizing all the terrorists involved in the attacks. We have dealt with the threat decisively and shown our enemies and the world that we as a country are ready to deal with any threat to our nation. I also take this opportunity to commend the civilians who looked, who looked after one another for every act of evil that led to injury yesterday. There were dozens of acts of compassion, overflowing patriotism, and individual courage. Over 700 civilians were evacuated to safety from the compound since the start of the attack through the early hours of this morning. The operational priority of the security services was first and foremost to safeguard civilian life. They acted swiftly to contain the attackers and methodically evacuate those whose lives were at risk. Emergency crews on site and in hospitals have worked round the clock, and we commend them and their reflection of our, com of our compassionate, resilient character as a people. I also take note of the Kenyans who took to social media to encourage one another to spread hope and hold those distorting information to account. 
Kenyans showed the world the best part of us. Brave, patriotic, loving, and unbowed. Fellow citizens, for the last few years, you have invested in our building a strong security system. It showed to great credit yesterday. But we also learned that we can never take anything for granted. In the coming days and weeks, we shall continue the never-ending work of strengthening our systems. From the means available to the security services and judicial arms, we will continue taking every step to make our nation inhospitable to terrorist groups and their networks. I thank our international partners who are showing solidarity in standing with us at this moment, as they always have. Even as we think of our own injuries, we must remember that dozens of countries are also under attack, and that we too must show solidarity in standing with them. This morning, I convened and chaired a meeting of our National Security Council, and I want to say this. We will seek out every person that was involved in the funding, planning, and execution of this heinous act. We will pursue relentlessly wherever they will be until they are held to account. Throughout the breadth of Kenya and in our immediate neighborhood, multiple security efforts are underway to detect, deter, disrupt, and defeat any terrorist operatives or groups. We are also on highest alert and shall remain so. I assure every Kenyan and our foreign visitors that you are safe in Kenya. Fellow citizens, we all have a duty in securing our country. Security is a joint responsibility between citizens and their government. We secure our families, communities, and our nation by building a seamless partnership. We should not allow these people any shelter among us. I urge you to make sure that you inform the police and any authority of any suspicious individuals or actions that you may notice in your day-to-day -day life. I thank all the leaders who have stood up and stated their strong support for our nation at this moment. And I urge all other leaders in every part of our country to condemn in no uncertain terms this evil and make sure to emphasize that it belongs outside our human community. As leaders, we should speak out strongly as we pursue the owners, facilitators, and sympathizers of these groups, knowing that they are an enemy and that we shall pursue and offer them no relief. Fellow Kenyans, we together are in the process of building a new Kenya that is prosperous, secure, and inclusive, and in which every Kenyan has an opportunity to thrive. We will allow no one to derail or frustrate our progress. No one in Kenya today or at any time should doubt our resolve. Our resolve to maintain security in our country, and in this, our determination is unswerving. 
we have, we have prevailed and shall always prevail over evil. Let us now go back to work without fear and continue with our task of building our nation. May God bless you. May God bless Kenya. And may God give peace to those who have lost life and comfort to their families. And Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Friend Machengi has moved to ensure that the country is safe after the security operation at the 14 Riverside Drive was declared over. Machengi, who visited the scene of yesterday's terror attack, however, said the area remains a crime scene, urging members of the public to keep off the area and give security agencies time to complete investigations. Our security teams have done a fantastic job and they have done us proud as a country. It's a very unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in today, but we are so proud. Let me tell you, even in these unfortunate circumstances, I have never been so proud of our security teams. The operation was executed very well.